All right, everybody, this is Ross. My garden this year, I don't know about you guys, but my garden is insane this year. It's absolutely insane. Full on Captain Insano from uh, Waterboy, if anybody out there is a Adam Sandler fan. No? Okay. Um, but I wanna to talk to you guys today about my garden, my summer garden, because it looks so great. First off, I got myself some patty pan squash here, and I talked about this uh, in the winter time when I was talking about what I was going to do this and why I was going to grow this particular vegetable. Um, it's pretty simple. It's First off, it's rather large, about the size of a softball, about the size of my hand. It's kind of throwing them around <laughs> a little bit uh, a little bit ago. Um, but in the kitchen, they're wonderful because what you can do on this UFO-shaped patty pan squash, by the way, aliens are real, confirmed. But we can uh, come in here make one cut on the narrow side or even one cut with our knife on the, uh, the wide side and then get a spoon and start digging out the interior and we can stuff these like a stuffed pepper and I find if you know anything about growing peppers those big blocky peppers those bell peppers are very difficult to grow to get a large quantity of them um, they require a long season a lot of energy a lot of time they're very difficult to get them here in my yard so what I rely on is actually these patty pan squash now. They really do a nice job of producing a lot of food. So I don't necessarily have to rely on a bell pepper. I have now a new food source here in the form of a zucchini, which is very easy to grow. Um, and I was able to harvest about three or four of these of this size in the last couple days. Last week I harvested, them, I harvested them at a smaller size, around a baseball size. And those, uh, I think, is really the more appropriate size you should harvest them at. And I got about eight or nine of those last week. And I've been making stuffed scallop squash uh, for quite some time now. So, really cool vegetable. We also have behind me here is my corn. And I know that you guys have been following along with my corn, because if you check me out on Facebook and Instagram, you know that around July 30th, I posted a photo of me with the corn, and the corn was at my chest, which is about five feet. And I said, you know, in that post, corn's supposed to be knee high by July, right? That's the saying. And I was like, you know, that's pretty cool that it's doing so well, but I don't want to count my chickens just yet. And then 10 days later, I made another post on Facebook and Instagram, again posing with the corn, and then the corn was over my head. Uh, it was over six feet tall. And I was like, holy crap, the corn really grew in 10 days. Like it really took off. Then 10 days later, the corn is what you see. The corn is now 10 feet tall. And I know it's 10 feet tall because there's these EMT poles. I know you guys can make that out back there. Those are those uh, 10 foot long EMT poles that I use to trellis my tomatoes on. And the corn is right in line with those poles. So this means that my corn is huge. And it also means, I'm very surprised to find this out, that my corn had doubled in size, doubled in size in 20 days. It went from five foot tall at my chest, July 30th, to then July 20th, now being 10 feet tall. And the cool part about this, you know, obviously I didn't know that it was gonna grow this quickly but it also has the, uh, the flowers at the top. Not only does it have the flowers now, but we're towards the end of July, and now that the, uh, the ears of corn have formed, they've tasseled up, the tassels are starting to turn brown and actually becoming ripe. I've picked my first ear of corn that was perfectly pollinated. Uh, it just needs a little bit more time, and I'm gonna have myself an amazing corn harvest. Some of these plants here I have two ears per stalk, which is really quite something. That's kind of what you're hoping for, what you're looking for. Obviously some varieties do that better than others, but this is the Silver Queen. It's done fantastic for me. All I did, guys, and I talked about this in my other corn videos that we did, the last update we did, when we planted the corn as well, is that I'm gonna make sure I feed the corn really well this year. They're heavy feeders, and also I was gonna give it a couple uh, waterings here and there. And I did and that really paid off the corn was not really stagnant if you can avoid a stagnant corn 
and have it continually grow, it really does take off and perform uh, beautifully.